Thank you very much. If I can please have all the presenters back on stage. Well, we'll just have one of those guys here since uh, two from the same company and take whatever seat we want. Well, so, um, so as usual, I'll start with a few questions and then I will open it up to you guys. Um, so one, one question um, that I often like to ask, and we'll go back to the analytics discussion uh, in a second, but uh, I'm interested, and I know from feedback that lots of people here are interested um, as well, in hearing just your personal entrepreneurial journey. This is, you know, there's a lot of people here starting companies, thinking of starting companies. So what's your entrepreneurial story? How did you start? How did you come up with the idea? Why this idea? How did you find a co-founder, and so on and so forth. Whoever wants to start first. I think it was first, I guess. Uh, I don't know that my story is, is usual or unusual, but um, like I said, you know, we began at, at Yale, so I was actually a business school student. I have a software back background. I was a developer for about seven years. Uh, getting an MBA, and I met uh, Daniel Boddy, my co-founder. He's a, a young professor, same age, both early 30s. Um, who was working on really his first big area of research uh, as a professor, actually. Previously, uh, his research as a PhD student became Vertica, if you know Vertica, you know, like database in the market. So very smart, young researcher, disciple of, of Mike Stonebreaker, who's this sort of legend in the database field. Uh, I read his paper on Hadoop TV, um, mostly just out of curiosity, and I found it fascinating. And uh, I met him, we hit it off really well, and I said, Dan, we have to commercialize it. I said, this is where the market's going, there's going to be this convergence of, of you know, sort of relational database technology and Hadoop, and, and this, this is the future, and, and he was like, nah, I just, I just want to get tenure, you know. <laughs> um, and, and, but, you know, after some convincing, um, uh, we decided to do it, and I actually dropped out of business school, uh, raised an angel financing in Connecticut from a number of people. Uh, it was about $1.5 million. Uh, we started small. We were like six people in New Haven, Connecticut. Um, then we did our, our much larger VC round and moved up to Boston. But that's uh, really how we got started. Mm. Uh, sure. So um, I was running a company called Squarespace. I'm the second person in. And uh, we had a CFO uh, actually copying and pasting from PayPal every night and from Opera every night with spreadsheets and see what the hell's going on. And that felt totally wrong. Um, I was a data head when I was a kid. I would evaluate prospective girlfriends and spreadsheets. So I just made a story. Wrong a story. So, but we, we decided that this was going to be a big category. It's a category play. This is the next social. This is the next search. This industry is going to be monstrous. Um, so we got together the best people we'd ever worked with and spent a month talking about culture, which is a really strange choice. And then we figured that making visualizations early was a good place to be and, and doing the same kind of stuff. And it's been a ride. It's been a great year and a half. All right. Um, so 